Welcome. So, on today's lesson, we are going to solve some questions in fluid dynamics. And, and this question happens to be a practice test, um, which was given to students of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Ghana, West Africa. So, the first question here is which one of the following is the unit of fluid pressure? And we all know the unit of fluid pressure or pressure is Pascal. So that means E is the answer. Question 1 is so simple. So let's go to question 2. Question 2 says, I, the general relationship between the shear stress tau and the gradient of the fluid velocity du dy based on the power law is given by this relation here. It says which of the following is the meaning of n. So quickly, let me show you something here. So the relationship between the shear stress and the um, velocity gradient is given as tau equals k du dy n. So when it comes here, our n stands for flow behavior index, and our k stands for consistency index. So when you come to the question, it says which of the following is the meaning of our n? So that means flow behavior index. I hope you get it. Then the i i. So we can find it here. It says, in the case that n is equal to 1, what is the type of fluid? So let's come here. So in the case where n is between 0 to 1, we say the fluid shows pseudoplastic or shear turning. Then when n is equal to 1, then it shows Newtonian behavior. Then when n is greater than 1, it shows non-Newtonian behavior. So the reason why we see that, know that the relation is... um given by this particular relation here so we see that for the newtonian fluid the shear stress which is our tau here is directly proportional to our shear strain which is given as du dy so you realize that when our n here is one we are going to get t will be equal to k du why? So you realize that our shear stress here is directly proportional to our shear strain, so meaning that the behavior which will be shown by the fluid be the Newtonian behavior. So that's when we say n is 1, then we have the non Newtonian behavior. And when n is greater than 1, no Newtonian. So let's go back to our question. So in the case where n is 1, so we have the Newtonian. Then here in the case that n is equal to 2, so no Newtonian. I hope you get it. Um, then the IV, the IV says in the case where n is equal to 1, which of the following is the appropriate expression for the fluid velocity? So let's find that out. So, um, so in the case where n is equal to 1, so when n is equal to 1, then we know that t is equal to k du dy raised to the power n. So when n is equal to 1, that means you get t will be equal to k du dy. We're supposed to find for the expression for the fluid velocity u. So the only thing we can do here is to divide through by k. So we are going to get du dy will be equal to t over k. Right? And we are looking for u, so that means we have to integrate um both sides so we can decide to before we do the integration let's decide to bring um so we have the u be equal to t over k dy when you integrate both sides we are going to get u will be equal to t over k and y plus certain constant c so that means that this is going to be our expression for the fluid velocity when n is equal to 1. So let's see whether you can find our one. So t over k y plus c. So t over k y plus c. So this is going to be the expression for the fluid velocity when n is equal to 1. And it says based on your response above, suppose the fluid experiment gave the following results. So we have tau to be 0 0.16. We have our k to be 0 0.08. Initial condition u of 1 equals 4. We are supposed to find the following. So let's just 
jot down our initial conditions. So we are saying tau is equal to 0 0.16 and our k is 0 0.08 and our initial condition is u of 1 equals 4. Right? So yeah, those are the things given. So you say we should find for c, find the following c. So we are supposed to find for the constant c. So you realize that there is the expression here and between the ink. So u of 1. So you see it here the expression is u is a function of y. So u of 1 equals 4 means that u is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1. So when you put it inside this expression, then we are going to get 4 will be equal to t over k. And now our t is 0 0.16 over our k which is 0 0.08 times 1 because our y is 1 plus c so this is going to give us 4 will be equal to this here will give us 2 plus c meaning c will be equal to 2 so that means that our c will be 2 as we can see a 2.00 then so since our c is 2 that means our expression now becomes u of y because um, t over k or tau over k y plus 2. I hope you get it. And we know that our tau is 0 0.16 and this is 0 0.08 y plus 2. So this can be simplified further to get u of y will be equal to. So we know this here will give us 2y plus 2. So that means that this is the general solution to the velocity profile right so the next question is which follow says we should find u of 2 u of 2 u of 3 u of 4 and u of 5 so you see u of 2 is 6 u of 3 is 8 u of 4 is 10 u of 5 is 12 so let us show why it is so so right there's the expression here so u of 2 be equal to 2 times 2 plus 2 which is equal to 6 u of 3 will be equal to 2 times 3 plus 2, which will be 8. U of 4 will be 2 times 4 plus 2, which will be equal to 10. And U of 5 will be equal to 2 times 5 plus 2, which will be equal to 12. Just as we saw there. So, if you're able to do this. And the last question says, which of the following is the dimension of area so we know that area is given as what um length square right so that's what you can see here b if you're able to do this then you get everything correct so thank you very much for following i'm going to kind of once again